Welcome to the Bourbon Van. I'm Phil. I'm Julie. We're thirsty. <laughs> Bourbon Van HQ has been under construction for months now. It might not look any different to you, but it looks immensely different to us. Yeah, it feels very different because yeah. today the lion's share of the contractors who have been in the house for the last several weeks have gone and we get our bathroom back, we get our kitchen back, we get our bedroom back. All the things are back. And what should we do first? Should we take a shower? Should we put things in the cabinets? Should we clean up some? No, let's make a cocktail. Yeah, let's drink. All right, so this is going to be how to make a Manhattan. However, this is a Manhattan that was made by Greg on the How to Drink channel, and we love his channel. Greg's a funny guy who also has a lot of great information to share. And he did a Manhattan Matrix a while back, 42 cocktails, and this was his favorite one. And so 42 cocktails. <laughs> it was too much Impressive. for Greg. It would be way too much for yeah. us. So we're not doing that. We're just going to take his favorite cocktail yeah. recipe, put it together. And this is not only the most expensive cocktail we've ever made. It's oh. not only the oh. highest proof cocktail that we've ever made, <laughs> but... Is it the most delicious cocktail we've ever made? Let's say it is because I didn't have a third thing to say there. <laughs> and so uh, we are going to start with the... 212 mixture rule for Manhattans. That's two ounces of whiskey, one ounce of vermouth, and two shakes of Angostura bitters. Let's get started on this recipe. First things first, carefully break some ice into maybe your fancy new mixing glass. Next up, it's two ounces of Alberta Premium Cask Strength Canadian Rye Whiskey, and this is a cork pop. Do the honors, please. I love Alberta Premium, and this looks like one of my favorite cork pops. Come on, Canada. <laughs> Almost <laughs> silent. This is our second <laughs> bottle of this. This is the 66 ABV bottle. This is the 132 proof bottle. I haven't kept track of the batches. I think there's been two batches since this release, but because it's so strong and we have so much of it in the house, we don't go through it that quickly. Right. Next up, we're getting another cork pop and it is this Antica formula vermouth which Greg from How to Drink likes because it has a big vanilla flavor. Ooh. I'm a big vanilla guy you are. and I'm ready for it so let's see what the cork pop is like on this vermouth. Is there another name for a cork pop that's not a cork pop? Non-cork pop. Yeah <laughs> perfect. Oh squeaky. Oh wait it is a cork pop! I thought it was another twist. You always think I'm goofing on you. <laughs> I just assumed you were. Oh. <laughs> and lastly, we're going with two shakes of Angostura bitters per cocktail. All right, so two ounces of our great whiskey, one ounce of this vermouth, and two shakes of Angostura bitters per cocktail. Then we stir it over the ice that we broke into the glass. The idea is that some of that ice is going to melt and get a little water in the drink and chill the drink down. Then we strain it out into our glasses. And now it's time for our Luxardo Maraschino cherries. Oh. I always say maraschino, but Greg says maraschino. And oh. Greg would probably know. This, by the way, is another cork pop. If oh, you would do the honors. I love it. And I always said maraschino too, but aren't those the bright red ones? So maybe this... Don't know. Somebody let us know uh -oh. in the comments. Here comes the cork pops. We might need a... Hold on. Oh, there it was. There it was. Okay. <laughs> All right. Maraschino for you. Uh -oh. At some point, somehow. There you go. Use a little finger action there. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. It's behind the bottles. Nobody saw it. Okay, that took too long, but the cherries are in the drinks. And what's left? Let's drink this. It's time to sip them, yeah. Now, were we supposed to um, chill the glasses or not necessary because of the ice? I don't know specifics on this one, but I'm going to say because of the ice, we're okay. Cheers. Cheers. I will say it's, it smells delicious. Mmm, it tastes like Christmas. Ooh. Well, that is a very nice cocktail. Very special. You know, the thing that is striking to me is that mm -hmm. maybe it's because it's cold. Maybe it's the flavor of the vermouth. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but that does not hit me like 132 proof. 
No, I'm getting a lot of peppermint actually on this. That's why I said it tasted like Christmas. I mean, there's some, some nice flavors and rye can sometimes do that for you. There's not a strong rye presence in this drink at all. It's mm -hmm. quite sweet, but I'm getting so much spearmint. I don't know if that's from the bitters or maybe it is from the rye. I'm not sure. And it does hit me like fresh mint leaf. Mm -hmm. It doesn't hit like peppermint or spearmint to me. It's very refreshing, very nice, and obviously very dangerous because that proof point on that whiskey at 132 proof should be sort of a flavor bomb, should be a proof bomb. Not not feeling that at all here. I am getting a little bit of warmth though, and I've only had two baby sips, mm -hmm. so I can see how this could be a very dangerous drink. There is a wonderful cherry note to this as well. Mm -hmm. I like that mix of mint and fruit. It's nice and warm, even though the drink is very cold from the ice. It's delicious. It is delicious. And by the way, we paid $70 for this Alberta Premium. Mm -hmm. We paid $17 for this little bottle of vermouth. We paid, I don't know, whatever you pay for Angostura bitters. It wasn't that expensive. And then we have the Luxardo Maraschino cherries here. So we did all the things that Greg said to do. We mm -hmm. spent a pretty penny on this and it paid off. This is awfully good. It smells like butterscotch. It tastes like some sort of sweet dessert. Yeah, There's it a does. breadiness here that's coming through. There's a satisfying flavor profile and the way it coats your mm -hmm. tongue and Boy, everything about this is really speaking to my palate. I love it. This screams a nice winter warmer. I probably wouldn't want it in the heat of the summer when I'm drinking those gin and tonics or whatnot, but for this time of year, it's snowing again because it just apparently won't stop. And <laughs> through the holidays and when the temperatures shift into those cooler temperatures, this is wonderful. You know the time that I really appreciate something like this? What? When all the contractors have gone home and I have my house back to myself. Yay! From wherever we are. To wherever you are. Cheers. Cheers. Our contractors were very nice. That's delightful. Mm -hmm.